Knowing how to enter and edit text on your iPad efficiently will save you time. Your iPad allows you to copy and paste text from most apps and web pages to other apps that support text entry, like Notes or Mail. To start, tap and hold in the area you would like to copy. You'll see a pop-up menu with options appear and blue anchors around the current selection. You can also use the blue anchors above and below the text to adjust the amount of text selected. If selecting a single word, the options menu will typically appear, allowing you to copy, speak, which will have your iPad read the word aloud if you've enabled this in your settings, or you can define the word using the iPad's built-in dictionary. When copying and pasting, copy the selected text and then switch into an app that offers text entry. Double tap and choose Paste to paste in the copied text. When editing text in an email, the pop-up options will also feature rich text formatting options like bold, italic, or underline. Double tap to select the text and apply these features. To make editing changes to text, single tap with your finger to place the cursor where you need it to be for editing. By default, the cursor will appear before or after a word. However, if you need to make a correction within a word, simply tap and hold over the word you wish to edit. A magnifying glass will appear. Continue to hold your finger to the screen and drag the cursor to the exact location within the word that you need to edit. Once there, lift your finger and make the needed correction. Sometimes it's convenient to be able to undo a change that you've made. The iPad provides an undo button on the number keyboard. Tap the question mark one, two, three button to access the number keyboard and select undo. Tap the number sign plus equals button to find the option to redo. Another gesture based way to undo typing is to give your iPad a gentle shake. Select undo typing. To redo, shake again and select redo typing. Undo removes the last string of text entered, so use the double tap and magnify tools to make more targeted edits. Remember that while your keyboard may appear to be missing buttons, you can swap to alternate keyboards such as the number keyboard by tapping the question mark 123 button. There are also hidden characters that are shown when you tap and hold a key, such as tapping and holding the zero for degrees, and tapping and holding various letters for accents. To capitalize a single letter, tap the up arrow and your next letter will be capitalized. Double tap the up arrow to turn caps lock on. Take some time to practice copying and pasting text from one app to another and editing text to increase your familiarity and comfort with the iPad keyboard.